Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I am just making this real quick. I don't know if this will ever get posted um, because I might actually return this unit. This is the IQ Air Visual Pro, I think it's called. Uh, it's 300 bucks on Amazon. Um, and there's some things I like about it, but some very big flaws that I definitely need to talk to you guys about. So as you can see, this is the indoor, this is the outdoor. You can select anywhere you want. I picked Nassau Bahamas uh, just to give an example. Here is the indoor CO2 and you can see the graph. You got the thermometer uh, temperature and the humidity right there. That's built into this for indoors. Um, it's relatively accurate. It's not perfect. It's usually a degree or two off. Here is the forecast for outdoors at whatever location. It says, you know, everything's clean. Everything's good. You can go outside, open windows. Battery right there. Of course, it's dropping quickly. This can only last about three or four hours, I think, on a charge. So you pretty much have to keep it plugged in all the time. It's got the weather up there. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, here's kind of what it looks like. That's where it takes in the air. You can turn the screen on or off if you want. Um, it's a very simple device. And in fact, this thing uses micro USB, which when I opened this up, I was kind of pissed about. I mean, $300 for this thing and they put micro USB on it. I was not thrilled. But really what tipped me over the edge with this company was the fact that they do not reply to emails. I have emailed them with probably seven different email accounts over the past probably couple months, maybe even close to a year at this point, about collaborating with them. And then just as a normal user, like as if I was just a normal person, I just wanted to see if they would even reply if I had a question about the product and I have not received a single response from this company. I tweeted at them, did not get anything. So I don't know what to tell you that, but the customer service for IQ Air is absolute garbage that I've experienced. They have not replied to a single email. That is crazy. I have not had a company do that. I don't think ever. Um, so just keep that in mind. Definitely not happy with that at all. Now, as you can see right here, the CO2, this is why I'm probably going to return it. The CO2 is not correct. I just got this Aeronet 4 um, and they sent this to me free for review. It's also expensive. Uh, it's about 250 or 200 to 250, depending on where you buy it. Um, and it does CO2 temperature. Like this is live right now. It's an e-ink display. It looks really cool. And this thing seems to be super accurate. Uh, they claim it's also calibrated from the factory. This IQ Air, I have no idea what the calibration is. Half of their documents on their website are from 2016. Yes, 2016. And they're charging 300 for this. And if you want the outdoor sensor, it's another 300 bucks. Like what the heck is going on here, guys? So I am not happy at all with IQ Air as a company. I am not very happy with this product. I'm likely going to send it back here. I don't know, like I said, I don't know when this will get posted, but Overall, just not what I was expecting for $300. I expected the CO2 to actually be somewhat correct. I mean, this one's saying over a thousand, this one says 700. Uh, I have another one, another different CO2 meter, which reads about a hundred less than this. So I trust this one the most right now, but this thing's usually three to 400 points off, which is not acceptable in my opinion. Okay, so that's my rant. Hopefully this can save you guys from buying something like this. Now, if you are wanting something, this the PM 2.5 that this actually uh, can track is super accurate. The way I know that is because I have another PM 2.5 tracker uh, that I use in my room. It's one of those Lavoit air filters and it's only like a hundred bucks on sale. And it comes with one of those basically built in. You just use the app and it's an air purifier too for a hundred bucks. This thing is 300 bucks and it does not even purify the air. It doesn't do anything except have a little screen on here and use micro USB, which is something that should be illegal in 2023. Stay away from this product. If you want a PM 2.5 sensor, just go pick up the Lavoy. I'll link it down below. It's awesome. It actually takes the particles out of the air. Uh, I was able to clean the air in my room pretty much anywhere I put it. I think it could do up to a thousand square feet and it's a third of the price of this. It's just as accurate from what I've tested and it can actually clean the air. Now for CO2, you can't really do much except open a window. I'm not too worried about that. The fact that this is so inaccurate uh, from what I can tell is just disappointing. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this down below. Have you guys picked up one of these? I don't recommend it at the current time and I'm not happy with IQ Air as a company. So that's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.